So all of the kids that I teach um, walk through the door and I don't know what type of experience they've had as far as, you know, do they have any type of programming experience at all? Um, some of them might be actually really, really experienced and have a ton of knowledge on coding and how to create games and how to um, draw and how to create animations and how to cartoon. And some of the kiddos who I teach, um, they love games and they love watching cartoons and they love watching animations, but they have no knowledge of how to actually create any of that themselves. So I have to very quickly assess who knows what, who can do what, and um, at their own skill level, keep them engaged, get them really super excited about learning, and um, ask them to start drawing. And drawing online is completely different from drawing on a piece of paper. Um, you're going to love some of your lines, you're going to hate some of them, you're going to redraw them over and over again like you do on paper, but you have to understand the tool set that you're using. You have to understand um, some of the shortcuts. Um, computers are really, really good at shortcuts, so you only have to draw an eye once and then you can flip it. Um, if you draw a kneecap that you love, you can copy and paste it into a hundred other drawings. Um, you're going to have a library of all kinds of different movements and different characters and that's really super exciting but you have to get there first. You have to practice. Um, you're never going to get good at basketball uh, by watching other people play. Same thing with drawing. You must draw over and over and over again, understand some of the basic concepts and just go with it and not be scared to make mistakes and that's what is really great about teaching children. They will do something a hundred times. Think about an app on the phone. You ask your kiddo to come over and help you and they'll just click, 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 click until they have it versus an adult wants um, a result right away. So my main goal in teaching animation and coding is to get these kiddos to the point where they realize, hey, I could do this for a career. I could take a class about website building or animation or drawing or cartooning or storyboarding or storytelling in high school and then I could go ahead and take that in college and possibly have a major in it. Um, creative design or writing or um, any types of type of concept art. Um, that is where marketing is. That is where social media is. Um, any type of movie making and animation, that is within our children's grasp. It's not just for um, artists that have been, um, you know, exposed to all these different tools and have the latest and greatest software. What I'm using right now is free. You can do all kinds of different things with free software. You just have to have a small knowledge of building it and where to find it, and I can I can help your kids with that. Um, there are some great tools out there that are ready and waiting for your little your little child to get his or her hands on and just start that creative process. And who knows where it can take them. They can be the next designer of the next Facebook or designer of the next big app or Flappy Birds, the next big game. Um, you know, anything, Angry Birds, anything that is really super popular now, it didn't exist. It wasn't around when we were growing up. And so this is sort of all new and it's going to be our kiddos who decide, okay, where can we take this knowledge and how can we use this to make um, the next end game and to make the next round of the show and these multiplayer games. I mean, they are coming out now with um, Olympic size games for people who love to game online and people are creating a whole team atmosphere around them. And so it's not just athletes, uh, physical athletes, but now we are having online athletes. That is the popularity 
of being a good gamer. And all of that comes down to understanding how to draw online, understanding how to code, understanding that computers are great tools, but we are the ones, human beings are the ones who understand the um, the steps and the principles behind them. So what I'm doing here is just a little bit of concept art. I mean, you can do this for free at home anytime. Um, this particular type of style is um, I think more exciting to kids who are into anime manga and who are into cartooning and this is just a, a girl who's out fishing and I um, recommend for any parent who has a child that's excited about starting anything online go ahead and ask them to trace something and then take that initial drawing initial trace and make a character from it so this girl just sort of lived in my brain for a minute and now I've drawn her and she's catching a fish. It's sort of stylized, um, meaning that um, it's in more of a Japanese art style, um, that the fish is very bare and basic. The girl's outfit is very basic and only two colors. And then I'm gonna add like a little bit of a background and she's going to be one of the, the best things that you can do for your child when you are asking them to create something online and draw online is create a story behind it because when your character is actually doing something it's a lot more fun to draw them and it's a lot more fun to have um, a story behind what they're doing and it's actually a lot easier to draw them too because then they're in action or they're holding something or they're doing something and it doesn't leave that great big huge blank space of oh my gosh what should I draw um, and taking a drawing from a tracing that's a really good way to start out and you can have a just a magazine or you can have something online you can be looking at something on your phone I have a lot of my students look at things on their phone and then they take it from there and they say okay I like this this idea this kid this boy this girl this animal I'm gonna go ahead and make something from it And that's what the Animation Club is all about. Just making something, a story out of a picture or a feeling or something that is really exciting to you, a game, a character, something that you play in real life. And there she is. Easy. <laughs>